Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! Another MEC cruise passenger goes overboard, and this time it was a 23-year-old man, and this is the sixth person who has gone overboard in the past four months on MSC Cruises. And this time it is a 23 year old male from Scotland and his name is Liam Brody Wilkie Jones and he is from Dunlit, Scotland. And he leaves behind a, obviously a family, his mother, his sister and a wife. This is just a very, very sad story. He's only 23 years old and he went overboard and now they cannot find them. And this happened on March 16th on the MSC Eureba. And this was a cruise that he went with him and his sister and his mother for his mother's birthday. And like I said before, he leaves behind a 20-year-old wife that they had just recently, not too long ago, got married. And they were ready to start their life together. And with this tragic moment, their life will no longer be together. And the last time she saw him was on March 14th. And then eventually on the cruise, she got the devastating news from his sister that there was an accident and Liam is not going to be coming home. And that she saw him on CCTV. And on the CCTV, she saw that he went overboard. But there's one thing that no one's ever saying. Symbol is this. How did he go overboard, right? Every day I read, obviously, they're not going to say it because now it's a police investigation. So they didn't say either did he jump overboard or was he pushed overboard by another person. So we do not know if what actually really did happen. Eventually, hopefully, we do find out so I can give you the, the news report on this. And also... His wife has been trying to contact MSC for the past four or five days, and they're not picking up. They're not saying nothing to her. So now it just seems even more and more shady. At least tell his wife what happened. At least let her know that this is what happened on this cruise ship. So at least she could go to bed and sleep because she wants to know what happened to my husband. I mean, if that was me and that was my wife, I would be in her same shoes, be going nuts, and I'd be <laughs> really trying to find out, okay, this is the ship. I'm going to go on that ship myself, and they're going to have to take me off. And an MSC spokesperson has now come out and said a passenger on board the MSC Eurebia has went overboard on March 16th as the ship was sailed to Hamburg, and this was reported to the authorities, the police in Southampton, Loaded the vessel and investigated on behalf of the coroner. We are deeply sent by this news and our thoughts will be with the family at this very difficult time. And out of respect for the family, we will refrain from disclosing any additional information. So now it's starting to get a little bit more fishy, right? So I just say you don't want to disclose it because it's a police investigation. But how hard is it just to tell the wife what happened, right? You don't have to tell us. You don't have to let everyone know. At least let the wife know. Let her know what happened to her husband. I mean, this is her soulmate. This is the person that she thought she was going to grow old with. And now because of what happened on your cruise ship, that's no longer going to happen. And my opinion on this is I don't believe that he committed suicide. Just got married to a wife. And I understand people have financial issues and other issues. But I don't believe that he committed suicide. I believe something bad happened to him because if it was suicide, they would have said it already. They would have said this passenger jumped overboard and committed suicide. People are saying that this passenger went missing, he, that he jumped, he went overboard. They did not say that he jumped overboard. They said he went overboard. So that means someone or something Push them off that ship. So please, in the comments below, please tell me what do you think happened to this passenger? And what can MSC do to make stuff like this 
from stop happening. I mean, this is the sixth time in the past four months. I mean, some cruises, it don't even happen to them in two years like this. This is getting out of control and something needs to be done. They need to have more security on the edges of the ship. I understand you have issues on the inside, but hire more security and their job is just to stay on the outside of the ship to make sure people don't jump overboard, people don't fall overboard. Well, thank you for watching the show today. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.